In this video, we'll see how to build a two-wheel RC robot car. We'll use Arduino Nano and NRF24 as the receiver module on the RC car and MSP430 launchpad and NRF24 module as the transmitter module on the controller. In addition to the two DC motors on the RC car, we'll use two servo motors, one for rotating the onboard camera and one for opening and closing the container on the back of the car. At the controller, we'll use a two-axis analog joystick for controlling the movement of the car and two potentiometers to control the servos. Now let's see the components and connections first on the transmitter and controller side. You can see that we have our VCC and ground connections to 3.3 volt and common ground. In between we have 100 microfarad capacitor. We have master out slave in, master in slave out, all to their corresponding pins on the microcontroller. And what we are adding is an analog joystick. It's ground to common ground VCC to 3.3 volts x-axis to P1.7 and y-axis to P1.6 and we won't be connecting the switch. In addition to this, we will have two potentiometers for two servos. One is connected to P1.5 and the other is connected to P1.4 pin on the launch pad. And on the receiver side, on the RC car side, we have our Arduino Nano and NRF24 module. And you can see the connections again 3.3 volts and ground and a 100 microfarad capacitor in between. C to D8, CSN to D7, master out slave in D11, master in slave out D12, S clock to D13. And we won't be using the USB power connection. This is our motor driver L298N, and you can see the two 6 volt DC motors connected on the driver. And this is our power supply, two 18 650 lithium ion batteries. First, they are connected to V input on Arduino Nano and also to the V input in the motor driver. And we have our common ground. You can see that input one, two, three, and four pins are connected to D3, D4, D5, and D6 on Arduino Nano. And we won't be using the enable pins to PWM since I didn't have that much space on the board that I was using. And these are the two servos. You can see that we are powering them from the 5 volt output of the motor driver. Our common grounds are connected and the signals are going to D9 pin on the Arduino Nano and the other one is going to D10 on the Arduino Nano. Now let's take a look at the MSP430 code in CCS. Actually, this code is nothing but a merger of the two codes that we had shown in our previous videos. First one is the multiple ADC conversion, and the other one is the MSP430 NRF24 transmitter. We are defining some variables here, and we are defining the pins that are connected to the NRF module. Again, we are defining the registers values, and then in the main function you can see that we are doing the settings for the multiple ADC conversion. We are going to read the values from bit 7, bit 6, bit 5 and bit 4 even though we also have bit 3 and bit 0. Those four bits will be related to the analog joystick and two potentiometers and you can see that we are defining our ADC integer array here. Here we are doing the NRF section actually we don't need this payload anymore. We can comment it out. And here we are configuring the registers of NRF24. And in the while one loop, first we start the ADC conversion and we store those values to the ADC integer array. And then we are going to write that as a payload and we are going to send it to the receiver side. And now let's take a look at the receiver side, the RC car side. You can see that we are going to drive two DC motors without PWM and we are going to drive two servos. Here we are defining the necessary libraries and we do the definitions for the inputs from one to four. And we define our servos at digital 10 and nine. And we do the necessary definitions for the NRF24 and also some other variables here. We define the pin modes as output. Then we start the radio communication and we attach the servos. And in the void loop, we create our data to receive eight element integer array. And we assign the x-axis and y-axis and two servos accordingly. 
And then we say that if y axis is less than 400, you are going to go backwards. And here are the definitions for those settings. These can change according to your connections. So double check them if it doesn't work for you. Then we say that if y axis is greater than 600, you will go forward. And these are the settings for that. And if the joystick is in the middle, you will do nothing, but you can move the servos according to these values. For turning left and right, if X axis is less than 400, you are going to turn left. If it's greater than 600, you are going to turn right. And we are going to have a small delay and that's it for the code. If you'd like to see more about the RC car and the communication modules, you can check these videos.